Live from Dublin, Ireland, it's The Cube. Covering Hadoop Summit Europe 2016. Brought to you by Hortonworks. Now your host, Dave Vellante. Welcome back to Dublin, everybody. This is The Cube, this is Dave Vellante. We're here live, uh, the home of Guinness, Dublin, Ireland, Hortonworks, Hadoop Summit 2016. About 1,400 people here uh, today. You heard the keynotes this morning. There have been two days of essentially a lot of, a lot of developers coming in, getting training. Uh, only about 10% of the audience here, we learned this morning, are kind of new to Hadoop. Uh, the vast majority had either a spectrum of tire kickers all the way to you know, full production running their companies on Hadoop. So, um, so to talk about some of that, Joshua Woodward is here. He's the head of developer relations at Hortonworks. Joshua, thanks for taking some time and coming to theCUBE. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, I presume you were here the first two days, right? Yeah. Those are your peeps, yeah. right? And now the, not many suit and ties here except for me, but, uh, but the business people sort of roll in now, the marketing people, but, so what were the first two days of Hadoop Summit Dublin like? Uh, we had some training days for partners and, and developers. Uh, last night we held four meetups for the community, so we had great attendance on that. Um, and then uh, lots of crash courses, getting intro, getting the intro people, the entry level people involved. So talk about the developer relations programs at, at Hortonworks, um, your role, what the key message is. I mean, everybody is a land grab for developers, right? Mm -hmm. So what's your message, what's your key differentiator? Yeah, we want to reach out to the community and uh, we have several ways of doing that. We have uh, a platform called uh, Hortonworks Community Connection, uh, which is a question and answer hub. There's some tutorials and guides on there on how to do stuff, uh, getting started with Hadoop. Um, but the, the nice thing about it is our engineers are involved in it, commit, Apache committers are involved in it, so the community can go and ask questions and get answers from the experts. So how long has that been around? Uh, we launched that, uh, roughly four to six months ago. Oh. It's pretty new, but it's very active now. So well, how, how do you measure it? Just sort of inquiries uh, and uh, gestures? So and analytics, and right? Uh, uh, data, big data. Uh, What's the data say, <laughs> Joshua? So we have like 140,000 unique visitors per month. So there's definitely a lot of uh, traction and that's steadily increasing every, every quarter. So essentially your job is to, at least part of your job, is to get that community engagement going. Yeah, and then, and then so we do that as well through meetups. So a lot of face-to-face -face events and um, reaching out to communities all over the world. We have um, our own meetup program called Future of Data Meetups. And uh, they're in Dublin, London, Paris, all over the States, South America. Australia, so. And these are like local chapters that sort of organize them? You don't go to every one, do you? No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I probably will You'd be. like to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but we have uh, local organizers and we get them to, they're roughly two to three hour meetings with very technical content. Um, uh, a lot of the presenters are committers or want to be committers to project they've done lot, they're heavily involved in the open source projects and so um, how do people get involved is anybody can go to the website and just start participating or yeah so well, sorry what is the website by the way community.hortonworks.com okay um, you can log in you can sign in through that um, there's really cool features like uh, recognition so we have like levels of your contribution so you can become a guru and, and be recognized as a guru of Hadoop and, and all the other projects and uh, get that up. You know, it's kind of like gamification, right? So, different levels of... Show. Yeah, you got a leaderboard. Yeah. Uh, I go in there, I see featured sort of projects, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you've sort of grouped them. This is great, you, guys, you, got, you got analytics and Spark, you got governance and life cycle, life cycle data ingestion and streaming, and then Beneath those, you've got specific projects. NiFi, Scoop, Kafka, Hive, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're all categorized by uh, topic and they're really easy to find information. 
And then we just opened up a new cybersecurity track, and that's really big right now with the announcement of Metron and stuff like that. Right, Ranger, Kerberos, Hive. Excellent, so, okay, so that's nice, that's a nice taxonomy. People go in, they click on what they're interested in, and then yeah, dive and in. It's, and it's great because you can get, it's not just like Hortonworks questions, right? So any distro, feel free to ask a question and we can help you out. And We want it to be a place where anybody can get an answer. So take us inside the mindset of today's big data developer. Mm -hmm. What's he or she like? What's the persona? Uh, that's, that's a hard question to answer. Because uh, there's so many. Yeah, right? every, every, every developer is different. Though. What's the spectrum? I mean, what do they care about? What's their, what's, I mean, obviously they care about coding, but mm -hmm. what do they care about from the, from the sense of what they want to get from the community? I mean, why are they there? Uh, answers, right? Okay. So they have problems and we want to try and provide solutions to those problems. Uh, anything from like, how do I install Spark or how do I install HBase or to advanced questions like, you know, I'm, I have 50 nodes and this one goes down, what do I do? So it's from intro to advanced. Okay, so they got different answers. And then what about, I mean obviously they want education, training. How do they get that? They come to events like this? Yeah. Um, presumably there's a cost, they got to pay to get training. Mm -hmm. um, although they can collaborate yeah. with other community members. Yeah, so, so it's bringing the community together and Anyone can ask a question, anyone can answer it. Uh, uh, it gives them a direct contact to the actual engineers writing the software, right? So you can get a, a real good answer because it's the person who created the product. So what kind, of, what kind of tooling do you use in the community? It's really this website and the features of the website? Forums, yeah, a leaderboard, so, so the I community, can follow people? The community connection is you know, the, the large scale outreach, right? We can reach lots of people on the web. And then we do the face-to-face -face meetups. Uh, we try to hold those once a month in every city. And that's where you can actually go and meet and talk to people and ask the questions in person. Okay. Um, now, so you said that you've got meetups and you named a bunch of cities, but uh, can you quantify like how many places you do meetups and how that's growing? What's, what's the roadmap look like? Yeah, so right now we have 32 meetups in, in the various cities. Uh, we hope to get to like 100 meetups. Um, we're looking for community people that want to start these meetups. Leaders. So, yeah, so they can reach out to me and uh, I run that program. Uh, reach out to me and tell me that you're interested. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, so, jwoodward at hortonworks.com or send me a tweet or whatever. And your tweet is at underscore Woodward? Underscore, underscore. At double underscore yeah. Woodward. Little play on construct. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool, little developer geek uh, yeah. syntax. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, excellent. What's the one thing, one message that you want the developer community to take away from, from your initiative and, and, and this whole project? Uh, that we're here to help, so if you have problems, we want to answer your, your, if you have a question, we want to get, get you an answer. And uh, you know, uh, on average, the questions are answered within an hour. We have lots of people subscribe to the different tracks and they get notifications, and so you send out an email, or you send out a question and it's going to get answered fairly soon. Do you model, have you, when you started this, did you, have, did you have background in this? Did you model after other developer programs? Did you look like, talk to Microsoft, see how they did it in the 90s, and mm -hmm. what you wanted to change, or you know, look at competitors? How, how'd you go about that? Uh, so our question and answer hub is a similar model to Stack Overflow. Mm -hmm. So you ask a question and the community responds, and you can up, upvote a question or an answer, and uh, you get reputation points and stuff like that as far as that's concerned. And then meetups, there's a huge developer meetup community from no matter what the technology is, uh, JavaScript, Docker, stuff like that. Um, and my background, I've 
been doing it for seven years, hosting meetups and stuff like that. So I kind of have that experience, and I, I'm bringing that to Horton Works, and we're expanding on that. So what, for instance, you'll, you'll parachute into a Spark users group uh -huh. meet, a, meet up and maybe speak, uh, hand out, you know, tchotchkes yeah, and yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, or... yeah, I got stickers. You want yeah, a sticker yeah, for your Yeah, yeah, give me a sticker. <laughs> Definitely. All right, cool. Yeah. Community connection. Yes. HCC. Yeah. Hor uh, okay, cool. Nice, so I get this sticker. Yeah. All right, I got the I website out, on there. I pass out stickers and t-shirts, that's pretty much my job. Okay. And then I, yeah, and then I or orchestrate, you know, speakers and venues and, and setting up the location. So it's just a lot of, sort of eating glass. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Great, excellent. So, um, I guess last question. Um, what do you see, I and mean, we're here in Europe, generally Europe, but mm -hmm. specifically here in Dublin, you got groups here. Do you discern major differences uh, in Europe from what you see in the US? Is it pretty much ubiquitous? Uh, in terms of the developer, type of developer, the profiles? Uh, no, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, developers all over the world are very similar. They all like cats. There's a lot cats, ca t-shirts, yeah. hoodies, a yeah. little bit of ink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great, excellent. Joshua, thanks very much for, for coming to Cube, on theCUBE. Uh, congratulations on, uh, on your success. And Thank you. Well, it looks like you've been at it for, what you say, seven years now, and, mm -hmm. and your experience has really started to pay off for just a few months with Hortonworks, so congratulations. Thanks. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back from Dublin, Ireland with our next guest. Right after this, this is theCUBE. We'll be right back. <laughs>